Hi everyone! Just let me sort of manoeuvre this. Okay, that's actually okay where it is there. Yeah, that's actually okay where it is there. Amazingly. Right, okay, we're back on the Evil Within. I just want to get this game done because I know I'm near the end with it. And then I'll continue on with Prototype, Tomba. Uh, there was another one. I forgot. I've not forgot, but I've forgot. But I've not forgot, forgot. <laughs> and if you can help by subscribing on YouTube, pick a mixed gamer. And following on Kick and Twitch, pick a mix gamer. That would be really helpful. Ah. Creepy children laughing. Okay. Oh. Burning a raven. Hey, raven. Hey. Beautiful. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, friggin' hell. I'm attached to the bed. Hello, just get away from me please with that torch, get away from me! You creepy bugger! Detective Castellanos? Yeah? Was that someone else's memories? Probably. Nothing surprises me anymore with this detective. So sorry about this. Kick chat has gone to the bloody side and I like, thank you very much. Honestly, I couldn't see it then and if anyone starts chatting on Kick, I won't be able to see the chat box. I'd be there looking like they'd be saying, hello, can you hear me? And I'd be like, so, we're wandering around. <laughs> you were moaning in your sleep. Oh, was I? Have a bad dream? Yes, I got set alight by a torch. <sighs> Oh, I'm sorry if that bores you. Let go of me! Let go of me! <clears throat> you okay? No, no, not that way. No. Not that way. Oh, shite. <laughs> hey! Please refrain from agitating the others. I'm not agitating them. I'm just looking. It's unusual. There's been no newbies here. I felt so alone. Since you I seem to be... Well at all. Thank you. Since I seem to be boring you every five minutes when I wake up. Flipping heck. It's all here when I come in for a nice little chat. <sighs> okay, we managed to find a key like bullets. 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 Mine. And we'll just sort of reload and take some more bullets. There we go. Holy crap! You get another key! Ooh! Look at that! 41,800 points! What? <laughs> Oh, I cannot believe I've got... Holy crap, I've got another key. I still had one more. I didn't know that. Oh my gosh, I found another one. Ah! Ah. Holy crap. Okay, we'll sort of take you two. That's what I like about this, though. I like it that as soon as you've got the contents, they just close and you can you know, touch them again sort of thing. Because obviously if all these doors just were continually open every single time you come in here, that would just be so irritating, you know, to literally, like, find your way through it all constantly. I'll save after I've upgraded. <sighs> we have lots of points, people. Boom. Right, Sebastian, again, gonna be a little bit of a buzz, but it's worth it in the long run. Oh, I don't really want the multiplier. 
You, on the other hand, worth it. Yes, it's a lot. I am aware it's a lot, but worth it. Mm. You know, I'm quite happy with my pistol. Because I know if you start a new game, like a new game plus sort of thing, everything you've done so far, you keep. But at the minute, I'm okay with this the way it is. It's mainly the weapons are what I work on. I do like the idea of upgrading all the gun, but... Is it worth it? You know what I mean? Because <clears throat> when I start the new game plus, I can just do this all again, no issues anyway. My best friend. Yeah, I'm glad I upgraded the Agony Bolt because I'm sure when I played this ages ago for the first time, I'm sure I did the pistol all the way. And I was really glad I did it. But in reality, I need the Agony Bolt. Or it's more useful to have the Agony Bolt, that's what I should say. Um... Uh... Sorry. Right, stuck. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Now, that would actually be useful. Oh, bloody hell. I don't really use the shock one. That one I use, but it is what it is. Um, Five thousand three hundred. I suppose I could upgrade the shotgun again. Oops. Oops, oops, there we go. <clears throat> But, like I said, the pistol is more useful in its own weirdish way. Look at that. Eh? All upgraded. <clears throat> Cruelest intentions. Yeah. Right. Oh, friggin' out. Mmm, yes they are. It can be easy at times for memories to be distorted by others. Mm. That is why they must be cherished. You can almost see her face, can't you? The girl. I didn't want to look into it. Rubik, we went over this. Get out of my headspace. My space, not yours. <laughs> yes, I am consistently wondering. Pale skin, black hair. Oh, sorry, nose is itching. Oh, right, can't go out there. Ew. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm not joking you, my nose is itching right there in the nostril and it's doing me friggin' head in. Not this way. Alright, oh, I'm not walking here, he's walking. Oh, friggin' hell, no, 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 no! Leslie, where are you, mate? Oh! 
I didn't have any idea that we're here or checking up here. So, oh, brain goop. Grain barrel. That bam 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 bam. Mine. My, oh, more brain goop. My mind. And free little harpoon. Lovely. Splendid. Okay. Lovely. <clears throat> Boom. More brain goop. The game is being very generous with the goop. Nah. Oh wait, no, it's a brick. Sorry, Sebastian. Oh, hello there. Wait, I've seen that house somewhere. Have we? Are you sure? Because I keep hearing something running behind me. I'm not oblivious to it, game. I'm aware that you're doing it. You sure it's a house? I've never been here before, but I thought it was the bloody asylum or something. Or hospital. <laughs> you know at the beginning that that was my first thought. Hospital. Uh, the fucking nice yeah, fragging. <sighs> Stop creeping me out, birds, please. I know you don't mean it, mean it, but yeah. Yeah. Scrap, scrap. I need that for definite. Agony bombs. My little sweeties. Can't get any more bullets just because I can't carry them. Again, it's being quite generous with the brain goop. Poor Leslie, though. When he finds a bit of clarity, he's trying to warn us, isn't he? I know, Sebastian, sorry, that was me. I pushed you too far then, didn't I? Oh, 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 you tried to hide from me, didn't you? You tried to hide. Just checking. Hello? Hey, Sebastian, you, you could have knocked. I mean, I realise it still wouldn't have helped. But you know, just common courtesy. Okay, some more brain goo. Eh. I don't know. Right, we're not going back in the safe room because seriously. Well, we have to because, yeah, these books are here. <laughs> we'll collect this, but we're not actually going back because there's no need yet. Tragic fire kills child. Nanny, Crimson City, February 11th, 2012. Despite the KCFD's quick arrival and best efforts to fast spreading house fire took the lives of a young girl and her babysitter. Oh. Yesterday afternoon in the Park Ridge neighbourhood of Crimson City. Ah, Lily Casti. Castellanos, oh my god, I don't know, I forgot how to pronounce that, age five, and her babysitter, Flores, 56, were unable to escape the smoke and flames that quickly consumed the single family home. Lily's parents, both detectives, 
So the KCPD rushed to the scene but were too late to save their daughter from the flames. The blaze was finally defeated by firefighters after several hours but the home was completely destroyed. The cause of the fire is under investigation but initial findings point to a faulty electric wiring. Mm. Yeah, it, it does explain it more in The Evil Within 2, what happened, but it... And yeah, it, it does explain it, but it... It don't make sense, sort of thing, and I think it's because they didn't carry on the game. You know, like The Evil Within 3, 4 and all that lot. And it really is a shame because it is a good game. They did everything right in terms of, you know, the scaring and the atmosphere. I've not played this one in a while, but <clears throat> I do remember the general gist of the story. And I'm not going to say anything, obviously, because it'll spoil it. But it's like there are certain bits you remember and certain bits you don't kind of thing. But... No, no, don't shut it behind me. That is the creepiest thing you can do. Oh! Nearly screwed that in its entirety. Right. Yeah, I was going to say two people, so you can't really sneak up. What the hell is going on? See, this is what I mean, just bits and pieces you can't bloody remember. Ah! Whoa, shit! Okay, so he starts chasing you. So preferably, I think the quicker we can destroy them, he can't transfer into them sort of thing, because it's not... Because I think they said... Oh, yeah, I'm thinking. Because I think he said in the last episode that we played, it's like everyone's minds are connected. But... Um... Everyone's minds are connected. Oof, just. But it's like... Only he's aware of what's going on. Got ya. So because only Ruvik is consciously aware of what is going on. It's like he can decide what happens in here, we can't. So I think this is it, he can just randomly teleport to different people that are in here. Including, if we was under this spell as well, or whatever it's supposed to be, including us, he'd be able to do it. Oh, can you hide? Okay, that was my fault. Fair enough, that was my fault. Ooh. Anything in there? No. No. Eh, me. There we go. I just realised I had my light on. Ooh, big brain goo. Shite. Oh, this is so annoying! Don't! Move, move, Sebastian, please! Holy crap! Yeah, I think you can hide underneath things. Ooh. Didn't notice that.
parts of the details I've been right in front of my nose and parts of the breakdown so I know that's it. Oh, that was so freaky. Right, I want to just dive under the table. Are these back again? Are you kidding me? Ah! Oh wait, oh wait, I'm gone. This ain't completely bad. I can sneak up on him. Die! Thank you. Ooh, and we get more brain goop as well. Ah, 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 ah. Right, I don't think there's anything else in here. That's it, I ran up to it because I didn't know which button you had to press to hide under the table. And then before I knew it, you were bloody in here. What do we have here? A brain. Is there anything that's supposed to show you where you're supposed to go, so to speak? Only noticed that then because it had a hole in it. I just sat in motion. Is this what did you call it? Your inner sanctum? <laughs> the research lab is around. I am most impressed. Why are you back? We mm. give you permission. Come now, we're both men of science. Men of science are dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. Mm. You can show me your experiments. But at what cost? I can show you things. You wouldn't like them. You'd think they're gross. In science, one must do any number of things a layperson may find disgusting. Mm. I've done many things others would consider distasteful. You think I'm some kind of a monster? You concern yourself so much with your appearance, but that mind of yours, that's all that matters. We don't look like a monster, like physically. It's more cello. Hmm. Is that Ruvik with him? Hmm. The plot thickens. <laughs> Our one, right. So there are three rooms. <clears throat> so this is it. I thought, oh, I don't need to say as much. Now I've sort of figured out why they're letting us go into the room again so quickly. <clears throat> it's sort of the game's nice way of saying to you, yeah, you probably will on this particular level. <laughs> right, so 
also a bit of a hide spot there if I need it. Arr. Right, so running here and straight away I can have a hide spot. I don't think it really matters if you run around or <clears throat> kick anything around, you know, to all that lot. <laughs> right, Sebastian. Stop going into the rooms. Oh, right, I can hide in here safe too. Right, nice one. That was close. That was also sneaky. <clears throat> it was very sneaky where you hid that bomb then. Sneaky! Oh, bloody hell. There's brain goop everywhere here. Eh? Bloody hell. I mean, thankful for it. Don't get me wrong. I can upgrade quicker with it. No, 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 you're not supposed to be there. Yeah. Completely blocked me then. That looks a bit weird, that. Okay. Two worlds separated by <clears throat> a jagged chasm. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Above faceless spectres mocking the tragedy. Below helpless victims losing everything. So, above faceless spectres. Helpless victims, right? Yeah, I was gonna say there's nothing actually in there. Oops. Right, bottle, don't need a bottle. <clears throat> I don't know what we're supposed to put in there, but odds are we'll figure it out as we're going on. Oh, yeah, mine. Harpoon bolt. Oh, brain goop, brain goop. Mine. What was that? Bottle. Right. I'm just trying to think now, was this supposed to be somewhere in these two rooms that, like. Besides bottles. Pretty sure. Pretty sure there weren't anything in it. Shite! Go away! Bloody hell! <sighs> Scared the living crap out of me then. Right, rifle ammo. <clears throat> Right, there don't seem to be anything in here. I know it's trying to point me to, you know, summer on the wall, like a safe for summer, but as of yet. I've not noticed anything. Uh, right, door, door. 
yeah that's what i mean so we might find <clears throat> one or two of those things like here and here and then you've got this bit here right so she's there why waste a bullet if we don't have to All about the brain goop. Right, so bum there. Gotcha. Yeah, Ruvik, I think. <clears throat> I don't think you have to run from him, just um, keep him at a distance for so long and he stops chasing you. Brain goop, brain goop. Just in case. Sorry. Right. Oh my lord, this house is massive. Is it a house? Because... I don't know. You know what? <clears throat> I won't overthink it. You get Oh Gimme the harpoons This is why it is incredibly useful to save up for the critical shot in the pistol or any weapon. Ah here we go. Old safe dial. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Marked with the numbers 0 through 24. Okay, this is just a bit of a guess. There's... Right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'm assuming... The first one's 11 because it said something about, not just because there's people there, but it said something about these people looking down on the people suffering. And that's like a bit of a guillotine in it. So, first number's 11. Shite! Go away, Rubik. Go away. from me. Ow! Fucking Jesus Christ. Ooh, Okay. <clears throat> Excuse my language then. That was just a bit too jumpy. Great. What did I just set in motion? Now we Is have this... to... Oh, what did you call it? Right. Your we saw face. that a minute ago. <clears throat> Go away. That's it though. Very rarely do you actually miss with this gun. When you upgrade the critical shot all the way. You don't have to keep messing around. Okay, Rubik. You won that one. Yeah, 
He won that one. He won that one. We'll give him. We'll give him that one. So it was eleven. I know I said we're not wasting a bullet unless we have to, but you know, we're not gonna keep sort of playing nicely either. Nice way of saying it. Right, we know where to hide if we need to. No. Right, so it was 11 again. But I think it's random when he shows up as well, so... It can be fine one minute and then not fine the next. Brain goop. Mine. Right, I wanted to look down here. Hmm. And most times you can outrun Ruvik unless he decides to creep up behind you. Creepy bastard. Again, sorry for swearing, but he is. We won't pretend he's not, because we know he is. I saw her there again, standing at the end of the hallway, long black hair, beautiful as ever, streaked through moonlight, eyes dark pools in her porcelain face. She wore her favourite red dress, like a crimson sunset, like a streak of blood in a waning light. Laura, of course you couldn't be dead. Oh, oh this is his room. Ugh, shall we get out, just in case? We will, but we'll just help ourselves to a bit of goop. And if I knew this is where you could hide to begin with, I would have done it. Another bit of a mummy. I'm assuming... Yeah, this is still Rubik's room. Hello there. Go away. No. Go away. Sorry, mate, but you're not the creepiest thing in here right now. Amazingly. Where is it? There you are. Cheeky bugger. I can do that too. Bloody hell. Oh, we can hide in there. That's good. Map fragment. Night. No. Yeah, just get the gun ready, Sebastian. Just in case. Get off! Up there, up there. <gasps> really, Rubik? <sighs> it's alright, we'll let him do his little games. Key! Key, 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 key. Mine. Yay. I do feel complete when I get the keys. In my own weird way. Okay. Oh, 
<laughs> but to be fair, we won't be ungrateful. We are technically snooping in other people's rooms. Well, to be fair, Sebastian. Oh, oh. Yeah. And I realise it's not the best, Sebastian, but at the same time. Subject number 12. Test 71B. Electrode placement A2. Stimulation of amygdala. Is that how he's blinking? <laughs> Yeah, so we have to look around. Subject feels as I do. This vessel is far too weak to withstand the psychological weight I myself bear daily. Is that it? No, okay. I'm trying to look for a hole like there was last time. Because a hole did appear last time. Subject number 12. Test 71B. Because that there looks like a hole to me. Or is it that bit there? Because that looks like a hole. It says to l oh shite right here we go. Malice, fear, anxiety. So one, two, three. So top, bottom, middle. So fear would be here. I can become a brain surgeon trainee yet. I'm just gonna uh, have a med kit just in case. There we go, mate. I know, I know. Get your breath. Come on, let's try walking. There we go. Oh, Father. If you only knew how satisfying that look on your face is. Did you actually think? Oh, I didn't see him there. I would just cease to exist. Out of sight, out of mind. You did. You did. Didn't you? Oh, you were never out of my mind. I hope you're proud of yourselves. I'm just gonna walk over the dead bodies there, Ruvik, sorry. You see... I don't know, actually. It's... Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah! Oh, shite! Let me jump over the bed, you pillix! No, come on, don't run out of energy, Sebastian. Not right now, seriously. Shit. Uh. Uh -oh. Done? Holy crap. That was terrifying. 
Yeah, this is the way I meant to go. I was aiming towards Ruvik's bedroom. Right, so we got the dial and 11. That was the thing. Is there a bit of goop there? Oh my god, I forgot it! <gasps> I forgot the brain goop. I don't believe that. It's not like me to forget that. Right, anyway. Is this the next bit done now? No. Oh, right, yeah, right. Oh, one more to go. Which room was this again? Dial. That's what I want to put up here. Oh yeah, we died, didn't we? Okay. Oops, syringe, syringe. Oh, come on, really? Right. <clears throat> so it's got me wondering now, was there anything in here? You know anything hidden? Like a dial somewhere else, somewhere hidden. Well, there's no enemies that I'm aware of, so one last check can't hurt. Douche. Right, bottle under the table, hatchet. <clears throat> Fudge. Uh, right, you're here, you're here. There it was, and if you look down, there was the second bit. Freaking out, I can't believe I missed that by mistake. Anyway. You live, you learn. Okay. So now the dial has to be in one of the other two rooms. <laughs> say it's no not up there is it right two doors it's not in that bit <laughs> portrait so creepy sorry I didn't mean to hurt you personally <laughs> Mat zero through nine. Right. And these two people here. So I'm assuming it's eleven and two. I think. Look at that, a face is scratched out. Okay, well, <clears throat> I did get it right, but we didn't have to do anything. Oh dear lord. What is this? What is this? Oh my. Okay. 
Okay. Subject number 14. Test ADHC. Olympic Prime. Temp 3. Electrode placement C4. Improves domination of the subject's will, but domination isn't enough. So, one, two, three. And he mentioned the hope, so I think that was t t t the first one. Sorry, mate. Are you kidding me? <sighs> it said the first one and it said to the side you know what though we got it right so I'm not going to keep arguing it the hospital has not received the family's usual donation this year and why would they has the hospital been doing anything worthy of donation. The Victoriano family has always been a generous contributor. Mm hmm. I'll bet. Where are your parents? They have gone away. When do you expect them? Is there something you wish to discuss, Doctor? I came to inform you that the hospital will no longer be able to provide you with assistance. Materials. Your research will very quickly disintegrate. How dare you come into my home and threaten me? Mm. <clears throat> well, let's just say both of you are a bit unethical with what you do. A lot unethical. You know, we'll just sort of say it right. Okay, so that's good. But what was behind this door? Are you kidding me? I can't even remember if I got a look in there. Oh, that would have been a critical shot. There we go. Crimson PD Fiore. <laughs> oh, well, what is the green point? Oh, come on, you gits. Okay. Leslie. Leslie. Come on, mate. Where are you? I don't want to leave you with either of them. Shit! They won't let me run! Ah! Slice clean all the way. Oh. No cure for what I'm going to do to you. Mm. Peel pristine skin. Thoughts from the minds. What do you fear, little one? Probably a knife. Peeling its skin. Oh, it's already dead. Okay. Never mind then. Okay. So that's down there. You're at peace now, little one. Hello. Uh, hi? You showing me summer? 
Yes, it is quite cleansing to show people things, depending on what they are. Can't get out. Right, I don't think we can attack him. Really? Thank you. Right, I'm assuming we have a limited time. Bring up! Come. Really? Oh! I was going to say, come to me. And technically, I was still allowed to grab it. Right, so we're on a timer. Don't hit the wires. Ooh. Are these harp wires? Shite. You know what? We'll skip it. I've already got more than enough. Uh things at the minute. Shite! Ah, that's it. The clothes behind you. Hello, dear. I'm not trying to perv on you. I weren't really given an option where I could run. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can get put back together very easy. Okay. Hey. Oh, come on. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Really? Just get out of my way. Shite. Really? Oh. Oh my. He's taking the mix. Where are you supposed to... Go away. Oh, right. There we go. Whoa! Uh, uh. Okay, uh... Go away. There we go. Freedom! No freedom. You did this to us! Where was I supposed to run then? Oh, this is bull crap. Right. Once again. Oh, wrong one. Go away. Right, you, you. Mine. 
My dude. And then they tried, uh, yeah, and then I tried running forward. I didn't do it all, bugger off. So Ruvik had a bit of a traumatising childhood I've gathered so far. Map fragment. Die. Let's say. Oh. Why was all that here? <clears throat> I don't know, but never right to kill anyone but i can understand why he wants the villagers to suffer if they've caused this image trauma oh imagine this a field full of sunflowers mine mine yeah Okay. <laughs> right, Ruvik, you little bugger. What did you do? I'm assuming it's when you was a kid. <laughs> I can hear you breathing. Ah, oh, do you think that spider woman was his sister? <laughs> Hi. Rich bastards think they can buy up all our land. They need to be shown who really owns these parts. Aww. Well look dickheads, if the parents are buying the land, that's one thing, but it's no need for you to take it out on the kids. Hey, I think there's kids in there. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. Well, you're a dickhead. <laughs> what the? Mm. Mm. There's somebody! Open the door! <laughs> Oh, Reuben! You have to climb! Ah. Well, I understand Shit. why she hates. Yeah, I understand why she hates fire there. now. Okay. I must. I don't actually know if this is right. Oh, right, there we go. Spin, 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 spin. Uh, please. Yes, no. I don't want to stand. Oh my. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Boom. Brain goop. I wonder. 
Sorry, Ruvik, not trying to add insult to injury here, just... I want to know if anything's hidden. Nothing there. Oh, there was some here! I was expecting brain goop! There we go. Really? Really, mate? Ah! There we go. I know he's not dead dead, but... There we go. There we go. Ah! But I do understand your anger, Ruvik, if they've sort of caused your sister to die. I know, Ruvik, I understand your anger. Stop fucking at me. Eh? Damn! Oh, bugger it. Okay, gamer, do not get too consumed on collecting the bullets or the goop. Because I still don't know if they have to redo that crank again. Alright, don't be rejuvenating him. Holy crap. So you're kind of getting a bit smaller, I think. Sorry. Sorry. I know. It was terrible what happened to you. It was terrible, I know. No, I didn't. All oh, right, now I need to get out there. Ah, oh, I was screwed. Oh wait, no one, no one. Okay, yay. Okay. Beatrice, please, you must eat. You've got to keep your strength up. My children, I want... Beatrice, we have been through this. Aww. Been through what? Don't just close off the cutscene. Aww, so she ended up losing the kids. Ow. Mm, nothing there, nothing there. Oh. Well, they both ended up losing the kids, that's what I should have said. Okay. Okay. And uh, that's the end of this chapter. 
So, if you like what you've seen so far, please consider subscribing on YouTube and please consider following Pick and Mix Gamer on Kick and Switch. And with any luck, I'll see you in the next video. Say bye and please stay safe.